This is George from High Tech Legion. Today we're going to take a look at the Asus P8Z77M Pro Micro ATX LGA 1155 motherboard from Asus. The P8Z77M Pro is a Micro ATX but features a lot of the same features you're going to find on a full-sized ATX board. Taking a look at the packaging, you get a quick overview of the features right on the front of the box. DigiPlus VRM with two intelligent processors for EPU and TPU. That would be for one-touch energy savings or one-touch overclocking. Also gives you more precise control, being able to effectively overclock or effectively downclock um, your CPU to match energy savings. Taking a look down the bottom, the DigiVRM gives you the most precise control. You've got easy flexibility with the UEFI BIOS. Turbo 3.0 Boost with true UASP support, iNetwork Control, and easy one-touch BIOS flash. Um, looking over on the right, we see that it is NVIDIA SLI and AMD Crossfire ready. Lucid Logic's Virtue MVP is included. Intel Z77 chipset with support for the LGA 1155 platform. That would be both the Sandy Bridge and Ivy Bridge processors. Going around the back, we get a bit of a look at the features in a bit more detail. We've got dual intelligent processors with two Digi Plus VRM. Uh, very interesting setup from Asus. You've got EPU and TPU digital processors. The EPU is going to actually allow you to choose a wattage you want your CPU to run at, and it will downclock the CPU accordingly, making it run within the power framework that you need it to run within, whereas TPU is going to be able to overclock the processor uh, to the extent that you want it to, matching the digital uh, VRM, the DigiVRM, with the CPU speeds that you require, or a simple one-touch overclock, either to standard overclock or extreme overclock. USB 3.0 boost with UASP support can boost transfer speeds of USB 3.0 devices up to 170%. Lucid Logic's Virtue MVP allows you to take advantage of the iGPU as a hybrid with your discrete GPU, assigning the workload accordingly by what can handle it the best and is what is going to give you the best performance. Network Eye Control will allow you to control the bandwidth of individual programs and set priorities of the programs to use the bandwidth that uh, you have at present. USB BIOS Flashback. One touch BIOS flashback, should you ever lose the BIOS, you're going to be able to get it back with a simple USB. You don't even need a processor or memory installed. Just put the USB in, one button, and your BIOS is back up and running. Taking a look at the layout of the M-Pro, obviously start all laid out. Blue heat sinks and socket, four DRAM slots, eight pin, CPU power connector, CPU fan header, and going down, got Mem OK button. If you ever have a problem with the system booting due to a memory incompatibility, wrong memory timings, the Mem OK will solve that, get you booted into BIOS so you can set everything up. Motherboard power, got one, two, and three fan headers, got Three PCI Express X16 and one PCI Express X1. TPU and EPU switches down the bottom for one touch overclocking or single click power savings. Front I.O. panel connector, USB 2 connectors, USB 3 connector, and moving over to the back panel, your I.O. plate. PS2, two USB 2.0, two USB 3.0 with two eSATA SATA 3 connectors, HDMI, VGA and DVI, USB 3.0, LAN, and 7.1 audio. Moving over on the other side, two SATA 3 connectors four SATA 2 connectors. Looking at the back of the motherboard, finished very nicely in black with silver back plate. Nicely laid out, simply laid out, very easy to work on, very easy to get around.
Heading into the box, find a very thorough user's manual. Utility and driver DVD. HDMI supplement for the manual. SLI bridge. Asus Q connector for USB and for the front panel headers. Actually an extension for your, uh, your front panel ports. Allowing you to plug everything into here and plugging this in as one piece into the motherboard makes it a little easier to work with. Two SATA 2 cables, two SATA 3 cables, and of course, rear I.O. plate. The Z77M Pro is a micro ATX board that brings a lot of computing power to a smaller form factor. Taking a look at the board itself, uh, very, very nicely laid out. It's not cluttered like a lot of micro ATX boards we see. It also brings with it a lot of computing power, as I say, and a lot of the features that you expect to find in larger boards. Uh, first off, there's the 6 plus 2 phase VRM, which is DigiPlus uh, with dual processors, allowing for one touch overclocking or one touch energy savings. You've got a total of six USB 3.0 connectors, all with USB 3 boost. Um, UASP enabled on the AS Media controllers, which is going to allow for up to 170% faster transfer speeds on USB 3.0. One touch BIOS flashback is going to allow you to recover your BIOS at any time with just a USB drive. Don't even need a processor or memory installed. Plug the USB drive in, hit the button, BIOS is restored. Mem OK button, of course. Uh, Asus is famous for this. Any RAM incompatibilities can be solved with one touch of a button, get you into BIOS, get your RAM set up correctly. Also, you'll notice there's three PCI Express X16 slots, which is very, very unusual on a micro ATX board. This board is capable of quad GPU support for SLI, as well as Crossfire, as well as three-way um, three SLI or Crossfire for single GPU cards. On the uh, entertainment front, you have HDMI as well as DVI and RGB connectors and 7.1 audio. Connectivity, you've got two SATA uh, 3 connectors as well as four SATA 2 connectors and two SATA 3 eSATA connectors. So you've got plenty of connectivity for a micro ATX board. Um, this board really is going to fit into a lot of environments, brings a lot of computing power as well as a lot of features into a micro ATX board.